in question 8 of this exercise we have to use this identity x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b x plus a b we have to use this identity to find each of these four products 103 into 104 5.1 into 5.2 103 into 98 and 9.7 into 9.8 so what we will do for each product is we will express it in this form x plus a into x plus b and then we will apply the identity and calculate the product using the right hand side of the identity so let's start with the first part in the first part we have to calculate 103 into 104 so we have to express this product in the form x plus a into x plus b so 103 can be written as 100 plus 3 and 104 can be written as 100 plus 4 and now this product resembles x plus a into x plus b where x is 100 and then we have a as plus 3 and b as plus 4 so if we apply the identity now uh, this should be equal to x square or 100 square plus a plus b x or 3 plus 4 times 100 3 plus 4 into 100 and then a b so 3 into 4 so this is equal to 100 square is equal to 10,000 and then 3 plus 4 is 7 7 into 100 is 700 and then we have 3 into 4 which is 12 so we get 10,000 plus 700 plus 12 and this is equal to 10,712 so this is the answer this is the value of the first product 10,712 now similarly let's do part 2 in part 2 we have to calculate 5.1 into 5.2 so once again we have to express this product in the form x plus a times x plus b so we can write 5.1 as 5 plus 0 0.1 and we can write 5.2 as 5 plus 0 0.2 now this resembles the form x plus a x plus b where x is 5 a is 0 0.1 and b is 0 0.2 so now we can apply the identity and that will give us 5x square or 5 square plus a plus b x so a plus b will be 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 into x is 5 and then plus a b so plus 0 0.1 into 0 0.2 so 5 square is 25 then we have 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 that's 0 0.3 0 0.3 into 5 uh, will be 1.5 so we get 1.5 and then 0 0.1 into 0 0.2 will be 0 0.02 so we get 25 plus 1.5 that's 26.5 plus 0 0.02 that will be 26.52 so this is the number that we get 26.52 this is the value of the second product now we come to the third product the third product is 103 into 98 so once again we have to express this in the form x plus a times x plus b so both of these numbers are near 100 so let's write 103 as 100 plus 3 and let's write 98 as 100 minus 2 now this is of the form x plus a x plus b where x is 100 a is plus 3 but what is b if the second bracket 100 minus 2 is of the form x plus b then b has to be minus 2 so a is equal to 3 and b is equal to minus 2 in this case now let's apply the identity so we will get x square or 100 square plus a plus b x so 3 plus minus 2 this is a plus b times x or times 100 plus a into b so plus 3 into minus so this is how we can apply the identity so 100 square is 10,000 then we have 3 plus minus 2 is 1 1 into 100 is 100 so we get 100 and then we get 3 into minus 2 that's minus 6 so we get minus 6 so 10,000 plus 100 is 10,100 minus 6 is 10,094 so this is the product that we get for the third part 10,000 and 94 and finally we come to part 4 now in part 4 we have to calculate 
9.7 into 9.8 so both of these numbers are near 10 so let's write them in terms of 10 so 9.7 can be written as 10 minus 0 0.3 and 9.8 can be written as 10 minus 0 0.2 so these this expression this product is now of the form x plus a x plus b where x is equal to 10 and if i write the first bracket as x plus a then a has to be minus 0 0.3 and if i write the second bracket as x plus b then b has to be minus 0 0.2 so a is equal to minus 0 0.3 and b is equal to minus 0 0.2 make sure that you have understood uh, this this thing okay now we can apply the identity so that will give us x square or 10 square plus a plus bx so a is minus 0 0.3 plus b is minus 0 0.2 so we add these two times x which is 10 so this is the second term of the identity and then a into b so plus minus 0 0.3 into minus 0 0.2 so this is what we get when we apply the identity so 10 square is 100 then we get minus 0 0.3 plus minus 0 0.2 that's minus 0 0.5 so we get minus 0 0.5 into 10 into 10 and then we have minus 0 0.3 into minus 0 0.2 that's plus 0 0.06 okay so we get 100 minus 0 0.5 into 10 is 5 so minus 5 100 minus 5 plus 0 0.06 100 minus 5 is 95 95 plus 0 0.06 will be uh, 95.06 so this is the product that we get for part 4 95.06 with this we have completed all the four parts of question number 8 to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore